Today we're having chicken waffle tenders. Say hello to my amazing Popeye's chicken waffle tenders. Three tenders with a crispy waffle coating, a side biscuit, and honey maple sauce for just five bucks. All of that acquired from Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen here in Chicago, Illinois. He's ready. Jump cut. Five bucks. You got your, oh yeah, here we go. Sweet honey maple sauce. It's gotta be new from Popeye's. I haven't really seen that before. All right, you got your fries. That was our side with fries. There's that nice buttermilk biscuit, just like mom used to make down in the south. And there's the three chicken waffle, te ooh, look crispy, dude. And here's the, here's the sauce they give you. Popeye's sweet honey maple sauce. Here's what it looks like. Mmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to hide some of my man boobs I've been acquiring. You gonna do your first one without the sauce, or you going straight for the sauce? Uh, probably no sauce. No sauce. Chicken waffle tenders. What's waffly about them? We'll find out. Cheers. So good. Whoa. So crispy. Yeah, the outside consistency of the breading is a lot different than KFC's. That's like way more loud, crunchy, whatever. This is more of like a, just a different kind of crispiness. Mm-hmm. You know? I like it. Mm-hmm. I've always been a fan of Popeyes. You guys will slam these. It's also a little like baby diarrhea. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. Or like a baby spit up. Yeah, either way, it came out of a baby. Mm-hmm. But, Luckily for us, it tastes way better than that. God, their chicken's so good. It is. You can get them right now. Love that chicken from Popeye. The photo of it shows like a waffle iron, as if they used a waffle iron to make these. Corey Wagner class, get, take the biscuit, oh, make it into a sandwich. Dude, I'm doing that too. You've been killing it with these sandwich ideas. We recently went to Stella's Diner here in Chicago, one of our fave spots. Corey made a sandwich with a skillet, which I normally do. It just looked great. Sandwich. Dude, that's what I do. It's the best move. Obviously. Their biscuits are better than KFC's biscuits. Mm-hmm. Softer, but still crispy. And KFC's got good biscuits, too. They do. Are you getting like a little waffly syrupiness in the chicken at all? Something. What are you like sensing on that? It does have like a, like a sugariness to it, right? Is that the sauce though? The sauce is really sugary. Yeah. Did you say this was a limited time thing? Just for this month or something? It's not even like the whole month, it's like the 26th or something. No. Oh. Back in the day in New Orleans when the band finished at 3 a.m. and needed something to eat, there was always some place serving up chicken and waffles, dinner and breakfast in one meal. If you guys want this, you better get over to Popeye's. It's almost too bready for me though, because I'm getting a little too much grease. Uh-huh. I don't like things that are too greasy. Yeah, this is too much breading for me, that's the only problem I'm having. My score is high off the first bite, but I'm already like sick of it. I know, I'm in the same boat. So here's what the tender, on this camera, it looks like the most crispy, perfect thing you've ever had. But it's starts to weigh on you. Look how thick some of that, oh, well, I guess that's not all breading, but a lot. This breading is like, that's all breading. There's no meat in there. Most Americans would be all about this. This is all breading, Jesus Christ. Here's a crunch test. It's very interestingly prepared. You just think you're gonna get this big, huge chomp, this big crunch, and there's, a, it's almost like got a little, like, softness to yeah. it. Yeah. Well, maybe it is waffly. I wonder if that's what that is. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's gross. At the concept of doing that, really good for about four bites. And then my body was like, oh, that's too much. Yeah. Chill out. Who came around first? Popeye's restaurant or Popeye the Sailor Man? Popeye the Sailor Man, I have to imagine, was he like in our grandparents' generation? Yeah, early. Well, with lucky breaks like that, you'd be eligible for a hospital. Yippee! <laughs> Can you imagine a life where all you gotta do is rip open a can of spinach, eat it, and you can beat the living shit out of anybody in front of you and save the girl you love? What a great life. Or where your forearms were twice the size of a normal human's waist, and you always smoked a pipe and never had to worry about mouth cancer. Right, and only all you needed was like four tattoos on your forearms. Yeah, and you could get laid without real words, just guttural noises. Yeah. Give it to him, Popeye! Get the twister punch! Twister punch coming up. I am what I am. Didn't you say that or something like that? Says something. Guy just had a little bit of vegetables. That was propaganda for kids to eat vegetables. Didn't work. Isn't that interesting? No one saw Popeye and was like, oh, I'm about to try some spinach. 
Yeah. Or maybe people did, and then they were like, it's like, I'll stick to just watching the cartoon. No thanks. The other hilarious thing about that, it wasn't even fresh. It was canned spinach. Mm-hmm. There's too much grease. I did not care for that as much as I did out of the gates. Out of the gates, I was like, yeah, this is good, and now I'm sickened. If you're hoping to get a chicken and waffles experience out of that, that's not what you're gonna get. You wanna throw that in here? Sure. I didn't get chicken and waffles out of that. Louisiana fast. Out of five, Popeye the Sailor Mans. How many Popeye the Sailor Mans do you give chicken waffle tenders from your local Popeye's Louisiana kitchen? Uh, 1.5. It made me sick to my stomach after a while. Yeah, man, I really liked it in the first couple bites, like you said, and it just went down, down in an earlier I round. I usually wouldn't let the going down swinging. I usually wouldn't let the grease affect me so much, like my score, because usually it's my fault for like eating an entire box of cinnamon or pizza, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But that was a small meal. That was I was like halfway through my second tender and was like, yeah. so even the someone trying to just get the smallest meal out of that, yeah, I think will be pretty disgusting. Yeah, yeah. A normal yeah. human's portion of that is disgusting. Dead on. Yeah. The more I think about it, and the more I process the flavors, it's bumming me out. I'm gonna give that a 1.5 out of five. I don't know. Those first few bites were good. It was kind of bad. <laughs> I don't know, people. I'd say nah. It's a simply ya yeah or nah. I go nah. Nah. Which is a shame. There's nothing I want to do than to tell people to go to Popeyes because I love that goddamn place. I've always been a Popeyes over KFC, over Boston Market guy, but I just, that wasn't good. That's fun. They brought a Louisiana kitchen here to the Midwest. Mm hmm. That's nice of them. A little diversity. Diversity. And people are usually talking about diversity. They want more Louisiana in their life. Mm -hmm. I was a little upset when someone got a scholarship that I didn't get because they were from Louisiana. You know? <laughs> For were, sure. My university was looking for that Louisiana diversity. That culture. Yes. That meal just got me doing this. Yeah, trying to clean up. Like, I keep doing this with my shoulders, like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. It's garbage one for garbage food. <laughs> I got my people around me. I know I got good people around me. I got my people around me. I know I got good people and around me. When I think me. about all the days and all the nights, the celebrations and the fights, we walk away into the light. The girl had some of the tiniest feet I've ever seen in my entire life. Size twos. My grandma's got Dude. size fours. It's Whoa. Tiny. She could hang her shoes from her rear view mirror. Two weeks in a row where we uploaded three videos. You can say thank you. They do. Good. A lot. Good. <laughs> People That's true. freak the F out about it. They're like, Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm just gonna kill myself today, but thank God! Oh, the only I thing I live for. <laughs> Dude, people like yeah, lose that's their shit when we put, come out of, like, what in holy hell has blessed my day with such fine health? I have three kids and this is the best moment of my life. <laughs> Whoa, really? Childbirth meant nothing? No, shut your mouth! <laughs> Extra day number six with cheese is amazing. Thank you guys for watching our videos. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the alerts, watch all the ads, and donate to our Patreon page if you like throwing money down a rat hole. That money goes towards the series, so. I bought by the sailor man. Comment below the last time you've had Popeyes, what you ordered, and are you gonna go try this chicken that's only here for like another week? Are you? Tell us about your chicken preferences. Watch some more number six with cheese videos if you haven't caught up on them. Talk to you soon. Thanks, dude. Don't drop your phone. He survived. No one ever saw him again.